Hey guys, CT Stealth here, and last time I did my video on this rigging thing, I actually made like six videos, and then I accidentally uh, had my mute button on my mic, so I felt like a fool. And now I'm having to do all of this again. That was a nice waste of like three of hours that I could have been working on stuff. So, anyway, what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm setting up that nice little bone rigging joint based off my last video as you uh, saw and basically I'm just setting up my joint system um, like I said you can only do that in the side view or top view or front view anyway so now that I just come in here and name all of these so if you remember exactly what I said last time you need to no, three things. I might have said it. It's kind of been a while. But anyway, you need to know three things while making bones. One is you need to worry about position, then orientation, then local axis, the local rotation axis. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you that. And I can already tell just based on the orientations of my bones that they're wrong. You probably can't see it, but I see it. Uh, there's these little lines here. Anyway, so position. What you would do is you most likely you would have a mesh and you would position these bones to be accordingly. Now when you make this in the side view um, you need to be wary of everything that's going on in the channel box because we want this to be as null as possible. If you have some random rotator scale something you did moved and it could be wrong. So I'm going to talk to you about the different types of bones. There's three sets. There's bind bones, FK bones and IK bones. FK is for all forward kinematics. These typically involve the rotations. You rotate a circle and the bone follows. I can kind of demonstrate that here. So as you can see I can just click on each bone and I can rotate that. That is FK. IK is where you do the opposite of that. Where I have a, uh, a controller that's somewhere typically on, on the foot. It will be right, right here and it moves everything else. I don't have that set so I can't show you that. But uh, that's what the IK does. And the bind bones is what's what bones are bounded to this again. The bind bone, first of all, the animators are not going to see any of the bones. But the bind bones are going to be the one that the animator will be end up using to make his mesh deform. So we need to set that up. So, like I said, um, first we're going to talk to about positioning. So you would position the mesh, and there would be a mesh here. And these bones would follow along the lines of the mesh. So that being said... Uh, then you can go down to the second point, is the orientation. So I'm going to hold down the W, and I'm going to left click, and I'm going to go to Object right here. And you'll notice that uh, my manipulator, make sure it's on move, and I can press down, and you'll see that the Y variable, the, the, the Y arrow is actually pointing downward towards the bone, no matter where I go. It might be a little bit hard to see since it's all green, but it is in fact pointing down uh, whichever direction the bone goes. This is bad. We don't want this at all. In fact, we actually want the um, X to always be pointing downward. And this is for easy rotations, especially later on. So what I have to do is I have to come make sure in the animation menu set, go to skeleton and go to orient joint and then the option box. And I'll have this options here. Uh, I don't really have anywhere to put it, so it might come off the screen a little bit. So, all right, come back over here to my bone, and you'll notice the arrow still pointing down. I'm going to hit apply, and you'll notice that now the X is pointing down towards the uh, bone. And you can use one of these options. It really just kind of depends. I can't remember. So, basically, you just need to select the bone and press downward. And you don't have to worry about the toe bone. The toe bone is just there to represent the end. It's only everything else. So I'm just pressing up and down, and I can go through my hierarchy and look at the X and make sure the red arrow points down the bone. All right. Now that that's done, I'm going to pull up my script editor. And just ignore all that. And I guess that. Okay, new tab. So command, new tab, mel. All right. So now as the local rotation axis minimize that so you can see my bones. Um, I need to come to the component mode and come to this little question mark and right click hold 
go to local rotation axes. All right, now what I'll see here is I'll see all these axes. These axes need to point in the general direction of whatever um, you want to be positive or negative. If you have two sets of bones, um, let's just say there's one here, and there's like one over here, and this one's like the left, and this one's the right. So you'd want the Z as it as this leg swings outward this way to be positive in the channel box. So let's see. Here's the Y. So the Y rotate, as you notice, as I move the leg outward, the Y, ignore the Z and the X, the Y is actually uh, 42. That's a positive number. So I'll just null these back up. And uh, we want that. So we rotate these axes this way to get that to get that result. So uh, like I said, I'm pulling up the script editor, and I'm just going to type in a simple command, rotate 180, 0, 0. Make sure the space is in a semicolon. And what it's going to do is it's going to flip this one right here, because if I notice, the Z's are facing this direction. They're facing to our left. And this one knee joint here is facing to the right, so I need to rotate that by 180 degrees. So this is the command. I'm just going to highlight it and press Enter on the number pad, not the other Enter on uh, the middle of the keyboard. And you'll notice that the Z is now pointing in the right direction. Failure to do this will be detrimental later on when you're trying to uh, rotate some things and the orientation gets mix mixed up. So anyway, I'm about out of time with that, so um, I will catch you in the next video.